Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Redbird Football Classics. I'm joined tonight with head coach Pat Ryan and former head coach John Helmick. Tonight, we'll go back to November 19th, 1975, to Metamora, East St. Louis, Lincoln. Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, this is probably the when people look back in Metamora football and they start talking about the great games that they've seen over the years, at least the ones that were around back then, they always start with East St. Louis. Yeah, you know, I think this was a ball game that showed everybody in the state of not Metamora. We already knew that we could play with anybody. We could play with the best teams in, in the state. And, and going down there in that atmosphere and playing that ball game, you know, proved to people that, that Metamora was going to be something, the football program to be reckoned with, the, you know, the rest of the years. And nobody, nobody outside of Metamora gave us a chance to win that football game. I, I think, you know, th this kind of set the tone for Metamora football. And it, it kind of plays into today's uh, teams too, doesn't it? That we can play with, you know, anybody from Chicago to St. Louis. It set a great standard. Basically what it said was, you know, it can be done. You know, uh, e even when the odds makers are against you, uh, even when, uh, you know, the maybe the talent level, whatever, however you look at it, it really, and, and I think it put, it put a program that had been very successful for a number of years on the state map and opposed to the central Illinois map. Now, one of the things, too, that was a little bit different about this, you had to go all the way to St. Louis to play a Saturday afternoon game. Did you go down, I mean, did you go down the night before and spend the night Yeah, our plan was to go to Collinsville and, and go back one step. On Monday before we went on Saturday, the Newton coach called me, and he played the quarterfinal game down there, and he said, John, he says, don't go. I said, well, this is semifinal game of the state. I've got to go. <laughs> he says, well, when we took the field, they landed a helicopter, as we were running out there, and their mascot jumped out. He said at halftime, they encircled the field completely and took everything off. He says, I wouldn't go. And I said, well, I called the state, and I says, oh, we don't, we're going. There's no problem. I said, but we don't want any helicopters landing at the 50-yard line. He said, we don't want to play on our sidelines. They said they'd do the best they could, and that was good enough. The Newton coach also said, get in and get out of there as fast as you can. So we went to Collinsville, and on Saturday morning, the hotel gave us a room that we could we dressed in. We dressed in that room and left our clothes in that room. And so we were fully dressed as we drove into the stadium to play the football game. An interesting thing, should I go ahead? Go ahead. Interesting <laughs> thing happened going in is we, we got off the expressway on the bus. And as we as we got off the expressway, this car came over and pulled us over. And this guy got out and he's banging on the door with a shotgun. I thought, oh, my gosh, <laughs> we just got here. And, and we opened the door, and it was the chief of police, but he was in plain clothes. And he says, whatever you do, don't leave us. Now, you know, this is intimidation factor right away. We got off the bus, and we walked single file to, to the field. There was a shotgun guard at the front of the line. There was a shotgun guard in the middle of the line. There was a shotgun guard at the end of the line. Well, you know, I'm thinking, you know, what are these kids thinking, you know? But fortunately, they were metamorphic kids, and they weren't afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so you get escorted onto the field, onto, into the locker room, I assume, by, as, or by uh, armed guards. Uh, then you take the field. Now, w what was that like? I mean, you, the hostile territory, but I'm sure there was a huge metamorphic crowd there, too. But really, you're, coming, you're going into hostile territory. Yeah, we are. And, and I made it a point to go right down to their 20-yard line and find their coach and shake hands. And and uh, it was a beautiful summer day. I must have been 70, 75 degrees down there that day. And the field was quite dusty and, and dirty and everything. But uh, fortunately, we had a great crew of officials. And they kept, you know, officials can worse or they can make things better and they made things better they talked to the kids and they didn't yell at anybody they didn't get upset with anybody and it kept the game flowing and the officials did a super super job H have you ever had any kind of a situation even similar to that no no but but what i'll say uh and you know i was in seventh grade i was there for what you know i was in the stands and but the the neat thing about that is it was to, still kids playing high school football and as the game went on, and at the end of the game, and you know, I don't want to get a, the cart before, the, but there was a mutual respect by the kids at the end of the day, and that's the bottom line. Forget about the peripherals. Sometimes, you know, the 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 peripherals can kind of overshadow. It was about the football game that day, and the kids knew it, 
and at the end of the day there was mutual respect so that in itself is just you know that's what's all about you, you know, know you both those teams walked yeah, off feeling what they, what, at the end of the ball game when you mentioned that the police came around and they grabbed me and made me turn around while the game was still going on and those guys could score at any time and they said we don't kids go in the middle of the field we don't want your kids to it they went right to the middle of the field the other team did they shook hands they had a good time it was no, no, nothing yeah. negative about so it. that that you know it, it's still high school football it was a memorable day and obviously some unusual circumstances <laughs> but at the end of the day it was high school coaches coaching high school football and a lot of great players on that field for both sides Definitely. back in those days too you know today you know channel 19 25 31 they they, they know metamorph football so there's they, they know what it's all about. Back then, they didn't know, you know, the, the coverage of Metamorph football wasn't nearly as great. Yeah, so, as, a, as a matter of fact, the, the, one of the uh, major sports announcers in, in Peoria, my wife and I said, we're going to get away from this on Wednesday night before we went to the mall and walked around. And he came up to me and he said, Johnny, he said, I'm from Belleville. And I said, I know you don't have a chance, but you guys had a great year. <laughs> you know, going into the ball game, I, I'm thinking, you know, I didn't know that much about him. I didn't want to know that much about him. I, Chuck Leonard brought back a scouter. That's all I needed to know, you know, and I, I wasn't. You know, all of a sudden I'm thinking, geez, are we in over our head? <laughs> are we, are we going to have a chance? Well, but, you know, you, you prep like you did any other week. You went yes. down there with the team that you knew uh, wasn't going to back down. You had, the, you, you had the right group of kids. That those guys, kids, they're older than I am, but they could go in that environment, and it was still about, hey, we get to play football that's today, right. and that's that's, that's right. why they that's why they won the ball game. And we had the horse. <laughs> he had more than one horse, but one big well, horse. You, know, yeah. you can do a lot when, when he can establish a threat. You can do a lot with the rest of your kids. Yeah. You know, and, and he did. Uh, in just a few minutes, we'll, we'll start the game. Uh, just to kind of let you, a um, little bit of a warning. The, the, the Games back then were in reel to reel, so the, the quality of this film isn't as good as what it is today. It's black and white. Um, it's going to be, there's no downtime, so it's play, play, play. There, there's no, like I said, there's nothing. You go right from one play to the next play. Uh, we wind a few plays here and there so that okay. you can uh, uh, kind of them. analyze it a little bit and talk about some of the plays. But uh, uh, one of the other things on the, the before we get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, East St. Louis had some pretty good players on oh, that team. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah. They had a kid named Orlando, Orlando Pope, middle linebacker, who played, went on to Purdue. Johnny Poe, a wide receiver, I think went on to Missouri and eventually the pros. They had a nose guard, and, and I don't know what his name, first name was. All I knew was it was Rush City Hamilton. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, when we came I bought a post-dispatch, and they had a picture of their defensive players, and they called themselves the Mean Dudes. And they said the Mean Dudes are not going to allow Larry Summers 50 yards. Well, Larry had 152. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the conflict was, did Orlando Pope get to Larry before Larry got started, or did Larry get to Orlando Pope before he got started? Because that was the battle. That was the inner battle that people didn't see. Sure. The, the great middle linebacker and the great fullback. Sure, sure. It's a classic matchup. <laughs> yes, it was. In a lot of ways. Well, should we get started with uh, East St. Louis and Metamora? Let's do it. It's a true classic, yeah. <laughs> let's let's get after it. Okay. You ready to go? Okay. Welcome back to Redbird, uh, classic Redbird uh, replay. Um, as you can see, that was the opening kickoff. Um, first play from the scrimmage was a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> we might have been a little nervous. <laughs> Here's a we'll good give you one. <laughs> Here's. A with, with Jimmy running the option, you know, getting outside, you know, they they're the type of team that's going to bite on the first fake, yeah. and that's why our reverses were good in ball game, and and uh, uh, our options were good because we could option somebody. There's a the reverse to Tommy Miller. That was a good play the whole ball game. Scored one touchdown on, off that play. Did you want to replay that? No, that's okay. We can go on. We'll see it again. Defensively, we, you couldn't ask for any better effort than we had defensively. And, and, and Larry Summers, I mean, he when he was in the ball game, they didn't run that side. And then we'd take him out because it was a hot day and rest him, and then they'd move the ball a little bit. We'd put him back in. But what this defense did, they were always where they were supposed to be yeah. every snap. You, and, you, you have to be to contain that kind of speed. Yeah. We, we, Oops, it was supposed to be in the middle yeah. trap, and he just got stumbled. It took us a while to get going, there but there's, Larry, there's Paul 
turn yeah. a counter Take play. Take that back, Scott. That's that's a nice, nice. He said, you know, coach picked up. They're overplaying a little bit, and they come back with a nice misdirection here. I went back a little bit too far that's there, okay. but no, that's all right. Now it's next play. Here's Reuter. Reuter gets the trap block. Yeah. And everybody see the guy on the linebacker. So we got everybody accounted for. I think it was probably Gary Hendricks blocking the linebacker. Here's option. Paul just makes a good move there and gets outside. And Paul, another guy. You know, Coach, you had good speed. In oh the yeah, we did. We did. We did. There's now we're starting to get moving a little bit with Larry. And uh, if, if you're not familiar with the tearaway jerseys, this is what they look like right here. Yeah. Well, that one's got to be run back. That's kind of vintage. Yeah. There's that's that was all year. You know, he first play in the playoffs, he ran 365 and one got ball game. So. That's nice trap. trap. Good he job just broke keeping a tackle. on his yeah. feet. Yeah, he just, he was a horse. You know, you've got their attention now. Yeah. Coach. Trying, trying to throw a quick one to shirts. Big target. Come There's back. Larry again yeah. piling in there. Getting into four down territory. Boy, you did There's gash. Counter there it back. is again. Yeah. That was Wernsman coming back. There's Belly. Or he was a load. Oh, you can tell your kid. You can see a guy starting to get excited. It's like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we can handle. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we've done this before. We're we're doing our. You know, and the thing about it is, is I, we didn't change anything all year long. We played the same defense, as one pass coverage. There's the right there's the reverse. Nice misdirection. We'll yeah. Back. Oh, there it is. There it is. We'll get to that. Yeah. One. <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah. We run this little reverse to Miller, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I rewound oh, it a little no, bit too no, that's, far, but yeah. that's Paul. Yeah, that's Paul's Paul. run the counter. Hey, your kids are running hard in there. The guys are playing, getting after it. Fun to watch. You can tell they're starting to get a feel for hey, we're we're okay here. Yeah. We don't have to work, but we're okay. I think we finally have to run the reverse to get it in. I think this is it here. Yeah, here comes Miller back on the reverse. And you see they bite on everything. Yeah. They're flat, fast flow. That <laughs> you, you got to run this back and stop it <laughs> if you can. The center came off the field and said the guy jumped. Rush City Hamilton, the nose guard, jumped over the line of scrimmage, landed on feet on the center, vaulted off the center, and blocked the extra point. And I said, there's no way. It can't do that. Watch. He does. <laughs> See, he landed on the center <laughs> and jumped off the center and blocked it. Well, guess what we're going to do the next time we score? <laughs> we're going to fake it. <laughs> wow. You're dealing with a whole other dimension of football right I, now. I have never in 40 years seen that done before. I haven't, I haven't seen it, I tell you. But that we, wasn't illegal back then, though, was it? Well, no, I don't know if it's illegal who, now. Who would have? Because <laughs> you would, that's something beyond uh, your expectations yeah. as an official. It just happened. These guys, uh, these guys were scary. You, they could score on any play, any play. Now, which one is Poe, Coach? I, that I, uh, he's a wide receiver. He's outside. Okay. And, and, uh, uh, so two drives in a row, they got the punt team out. They might yeah. not have had that for a while. And they don't punt very well either, so that helped. There's Belly. We're getting a little bit better at it. He hits that a little wider. There's a hole there. And there's a little nice. option. Pitch to, to Miller, or they, Wernsman, they, yeah. excuse me, Wernsman. They get, they get there pretty quick. They're not bad. Oh. <laughs> they only had like two home games all year. Nobody would play them at home, so they travel all over the Midwest playing football games. And they beat the Flyers that year, East St. Louis Flyers. Now there's one school, but that time there were two. Quarter. That was a fast quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, we got to throw it here just to yeah. back him off. And that's trying to throw just the big target. And there goes Larry again. He trips up a little bit. <laughs> again. Misting. Yeah. You know, every time you kick off or punt or throw it up in the air, this these things that happen. But you know what, what happened a lot was there's a lot of clipping and that and the officials called every one of them yeah. they, they, they did a great job it's kind of reminds us a little bit they weren't quite as talented but playing Cahokia or yeah in long situation yeah. still feel like they got one more down That's yeah a nice see throw just there. like there yeah and, and and you you can have it well covered and they can break contain the quarterback can and run for the first yeah. down that's what's frustrating 
The thing that you see, though, I mean, watching this, 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 this clips off pretty fast, is your kids are still blocking and tackling. They're, they're playing the game the right way. And yeah. It doesn't look like they're playing the game any different than we had all we year. watched the 75 yeah. state title game. Right. No, they're getting they, after them. And it's the same people in the same places. And then once you do that, once they play 11, 12, 13 games, or something, they get pretty confident and pretty quick. Absolutely. And uh, as I say, somewhere along here, I think Miller gets one of his interceptions. He had three that day, which is a it's outstanding. See now, Larry's out of the ball game right now. They run off tackle, so we have to get Larry back in the ball game. It's a nice play by the nose guard. Reuter's an outstanding. Scott Reuter, middle linebacker in there, boy, he just he's sturdy. He's a ton. And Rocky Elbert, the a tackle, he reads everything perfectly. As some sometimes they run a quick pitch and pull the tackle, he's right outside with them. There's there Miller's There's first one. interception, yeah. And that was key, too, because they were driving. They were going, yep. Nice turnaround. They hit. There's Pretty no doubt about it. Physical, yep. And there's a reason why. It's a semifinal That's game. your favorite play, Coach. Speed up. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Well, that's all right. If, uh, you know, if anybody <laughs> if it was capable, it would have been uh, Jim. Yeah, some of the quarterbacks you had, you'd have never been able to run that play. It wouldn't have developed quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback couldn't have got it to the speed guy. Well, you know, it's, it's, every every play is, is nerve-wracking because it could go all the way. Boy, that might be Poe there. I think that is Johnny Poe yeah. there. He went to Missouri and then on to the pros. He played a long time in the pros too, didn't he? I believe with uh, New Orleans. There's Tom oh, again. another interception. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody in the state series has had four. I think he's still still tied. Really? Really? Go back yeah, and look at that one, one. one more. Yeah, three and one games a pretty good day. That might have been deflected, you know. He, but he's right with it. I mean, he's where he's supposed to be every time. He was our strong safety. It was interesting. The strong safety and uh, Miller and Schertz played on the same side, and uh, Garber and either Holman or Wernsman played on the other side, and they the whole year. They just, they'd go the, you know, they'd go the side where the strong safety go one side, then they go the other way, and they played together, so they knew each other and they knew what to expect. It looked like on that play, the the receiver had it and then just yeah. kind of dropped it. Yeah, Miller was alert and got it. We didn't complete a whole lot of passes that ball game, but you know what it did? It backed people off. Yeah. We had some time. time there, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. They, you know, and wisely <laughs> decided not to throw it. You know, we, we this is a game where you cannot make mistakes like that one because you know anything can happen. Uh, it's going to be a close ball game. It's just don't miss many tackling opportunities. Yeah. It's hard to rush that kid, too, because he's so quick getting back. This is so funny. Watch that dust fly. Yeah, it, it was warm, too. It was about 70-some degrees out there. And one of the reasons we had to get Larry out on defense is let him rest because he was carrying the ball all the time. But our defensive ends, Nauman and uh, Fredericks, were, you know, they're, they're stout. They're, they do a nice job. Fredericks is a, is a that play muscle up. man, and Nauman read, reads everything perfectly. I mean, just. Well, he looked like he had pretty good defense there. Yeah, he just dropped it in there. Yeah, yeah there's, there's. We they missed have, that. We so didn't have a guy to jump over the center like that. No, we, we didn't. didn't we didn't have that play in the book. <laughs> I put it in though after the game. <laughs> yeah, I thought I might drive for on down the road. Now, did they take the lead seven to six there? I think it was six six, wasn't it? Six, and six. then we we go for two and make it eight six, and then they try to they go they go fourteen twelve, and then try to go for yeah. They didn't make it. They tried to go for two to tie it at the end. Yes. The second half yeah. here, kickoff, and, and it's, it's it's a seven, it's six six right now, so it's it's a heck of a ball game, yeah, you know. And but you know, 
game's being played the right way. Both teams are hitting and physical, but you don't see a lot of jawing. You don't see there a wasn't. lot of there silly, wasn't. you know, late yeah. stuff. The guys just playing the game. And a lot of it was the officiating. Wow. They, I mean, they talked and and uh, yeah, you're right. You talked to the kids there. and calm kids down and. A big ball game when yeah. he gets to go to the state finals. Pat Reuter, the nose guard, did a nice job here too because he, he, he absorbs tackler, or absorbs blockers and allows those linebackers to do their work. Gary Hendricks was at the other tackle and Rocky Elbert tackle, and then we brought in uh, Summers to play some tackle That's a good also. Tackle in the open field there. You know, we, and Pat, there's a. I always believed in playing one sophomore, and there's. Uh, Jeff Selberg playing yeah. linebacker. You know, when I first time I ever saw my guy, it took me a while to figure out who that guy was. Yeah, you 37. Look at the body type and everything. You, you yeah. figure it out. Yeah. See, now that, if you could run that back, what that is a good example of, of, of our, our tackles reading because they pull the, they pull the uh, tackle when they run that play, and well, we go right with them. We just follow them right down the line of scrimmage, and you see this tackle coming outside, yep. see him pull. Well, you see ours right behind him. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the kids didn't make mistakes. They didn't, and a lot of that goes to you know John saying coach the defense. They did a great job wow. with the defense, boy. You know you can hold these guys to twelve points. You know you've done a job. Absolutely. We got another interception there too, didn't we? Yeah. And Jim Wells, there's look at that nice. That's a nice looking belly but play see, right there. See, that's the thing. What what you had there is you know they might have got on you early a little bit, and there they they took a chance and got through, but. Um, you wear them down after a while, too. They get it deep in our territory, but you hold they, them. You're right. They don't score. And uh, just look at this. <laughs> Wide open now. Uh, it never hurts to have one or two breaks. You were, you were in the <laughs> ball game, though. You know, but it's, there's, no, there's, a, there's an interception by Reuter, Scott Reuter, the middle linebacker. And Scott was, a, was an all-stater. Linebacker and didn't and was not all conference. <laughs> There's How people do do jealous. Yeah. <laughs> There's belly. There's yeah. nice looking belly play right sure there. Was. He just off, just kick the end out, get inside and go. You know, and now we're, we we just want to move the ball. Coach, you're keep kinda, it. Kind of at the the old adage. You're really at it. Three yards in a cloud of dust. Literally exactly. Here. Yeah. And <laughs> that, that you can't run belly any better than that. No. I mean, you watch that guard pull and there's a trap and he we didn't get back behind the guard. It was a fumble. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. So, you know, it says something, too. We, we gave up the ball a few times, yeah. but yet it didn't stop us. It didn't stop, you know, we still played the game. You know, I was talking about the, the defensive line play. Jim Welch played uh, defensive line at, at Illinois State with uh, eye, so he knew how to play it, and he, he really helped the kids there. You guys, and it's uh, you did a nice job of taking away what they wanted to do with the run game. They weren't able yeah. to run the football on you. It seemed like, and think about the speed they had. There he is. There's the third There's interception Tommy. by Miller. Yeah. Every yeah. time they tried to get outside, they could, they couldn't get it done. They couldn't get leverage on you. Yeah. They had, you guys had five interceptions that day. Is that right? I know See. Reuter had one while ago, and there's three there, and I don't know who else had I one. I think Selberg had Selberg. one earlier. Yeah. Good option play. Trap. <laughs> you can you can <laughs> miss the guy, and Larry's going to get. A <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, see, that would have been a penalty nowadays because they, they can't cross the line of scrimmage, you know. There's our quick toss, trying to get the ball outside a little bit. Kind of loosens them up a little, doesn't yes, it? Yes, you got to do that. Even if it's not successful, you got to loosen them up. You got to throw it to back them off. You got There's the reverse again. We pull Reuter, the guard, get him out in front. I see, you know, he flung him around, but he didn't go down. This there's, is a nice there's drive. There's a horse, yeah. This, this is. Drive, it? Yeah, it is. You know, uh, yeah, when we score here, let's stop it a second. I got There's Jimmy again, Garber. Touchdown. Touchdown. Stop it here a minute. You know, the, the first time we scored, the, we had that guy jump over and land on the center and back. So I went over to Bartell and I said, Scott, if we score, Scott was the holder, sophomore. I says, if we score, I says, I want you to fake the extra point, roll out, and throw the ball. So we get down there on the one-yard line, and I look back there, and Bartels are warming up. I says, no, 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 no. You don't want to tell them that. You know? I says, you can throw the ball three yards, not warm it up. So, so it was kind of a funny deal. Go ahead. He, he's just meticulous. He so here, sure here, he yeah, here's the fake. 
And this they one, do this, try to go over top yeah, again. And this won the ball game. Boy, we we had a choice open. of receivers in the end zone. There was two yeah, of them. Can you run that one back again just, just to see the guy come over the top? He, they got the same idea on this one. Well executed, yeah. Well executed. A big jump. moment in Metamore football history here. He, tries, he, to up, he tries to climb. Up right his... guard was a little more alert this time. He realized something different might have happened. Yeah. So it, big it was, play. And that it was. It won the ball game, I guess. You know, when, well, you, you win the ball game by playing the whole ball game, but yeah. that was the difference. Was a big moment. Yeah. They probably, I don't know what the record was. I mean, I don't know how many times they've been behind, but I, it looks like they just completely they, abandoned the running yeah, game. Yeah, they were, were just 11 and 0 and rated, I think, number yeah. two behind Geneseo, and neither one of them made it. Try to find a play. Did a nice job there. That was a big series. Got the ball back. We're down deep now. Now it's important just to grind it out, yep. eat up some clock, and we didn't get very far, did we? <laughs> <laughs> That's tight punt, and Miller's punting, and they they get some clips, you know. Like there was a clip, and and yeah, and uh, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah and, and there were obvious clips. Like it you, wasn't something break, that you know, right, right, or you right. Break. And it they was call them back. They made a, they did a good job. I can't emphasize that enough. They were a crew from uh, uh, Eastern Illinois University. The baseball coach was one of them, and then one of them was from from, from uh, Danville. So it's got to be getting pretty late in the game now. Yes, definitely, because they're going that way when. Uh, uh, we stop them. Okay, if this is the touchdown. Okay, now, now stop a minute. The, the 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 thing about this is, and people don't realize, is Jimmy Garber played every down, offensively and defensively. He is the free safety, and time and time again over the years, over that year, Jimmy made key hits, and he he's the one who stops this play on the goal line, stops this two point play on the goal line. You'll see him coming from the free safety spot. You know, you might even go slow forward if you could. And uh, it looks like there's a hole there. Okay. Here it goes forward. Forward. Oh, Here oh. comes Jimmy. Okay. Go ahead and let it go. See if we can get it. Okay. See if we can go. Can you go slow forward? I'm not going to be able to, but. Well, that wasn't it. They they didn't make the two point conversion there. No, and and uh, and. Uh, you got her going double now, Scott. <laughs> We're not it's that going fast. fast enough. <laughs> We're not that fast. So they didn't get it. They yeah, didn't go, get go, it. We'll go no. back and try to get yeah. it. We got some time. I uh, I thought it was a run, but maybe it wasn't. So here's this is the touchdown pass again. Well, that's okay. a deep, deep drop. There. Yeah, it is hard to get to him, you know. Yeah. And he's got time, and those kids can run. So I thought this was a run off tackle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see Jimmy it. come. Yeah, yeah. cleaned nice up. Hit. Yeah, yeah, can yeah. you get, can you show that again? Because that, that that was a that was a big play by a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. I never had many quarterbacks hey, play now, defense. Hold on. <laughs> Careful there, coach. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy had a, you know. There's a guy that you know didn't even play quarterback. He no, he did. One year quarterback he was on the, a state championship team. How he many was guys the can only say that? returning starter in the defensive backfield. Bang, yeah, bang. That was, right that was there, a, boy. He stopped him right there. That. It you was a big it. hit. That it, was a big play. It was. It, it, uh, and he did it all year. So, roughly, how much time do you remember is there left right now? You know, I I don't know. There's, there, They get the ball back, and I think they're going the other way because I think I remember them throwing it and getting the ball back. Because right, right toward the end of the game, the uh, a policeman – wouldn't let me watch. Nice throw. That's a big conversion right there. He kept turning me around, telling me what was going to happen after the game. Yeah, it's important that we get yardage and get time off the clock and get them pinned back a little bit, you know. Good effort. Here's the reverse again. Well, that just seems to work, but their closing speed is. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and all you need is six, seven, eight yards on a play like that. Uh, the horse. That's, That's big. A big yeah. first down. Yeah, you, yeah, now you're starting to sense, hey, we there got a go. shot here. Yeah. You know, the little kids after the game went around, and they were, they wanted to touch him, Larry, and they called him Zonka, Zonka, Zonka. I can remember <laughs> chanting leaving the stadium, Zonka, Zonka. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just just the whole thing is just memorable. I mean, you know, anybody that was at this ball game, just it's something that nobody will ever forget. Just, just the impact for that day. 
and yeah. and uh, still even, even though yeah. the kids may not you know obviously a lot of guys we got playing now or, and, and over the years don't didn't see this game or haven't seen this game but I think they still get the feel from what this game meant this this game meant that it's Holman Steve Holman yeah you play yeah you're right and, you're and right you can you know there are no insurmountable games there are no limits you know don't sell yourself short just keep them in front. is that it I think so yeah that'll, be, that'll be the end of the game okay right at the end of that game uh, the the uh, police as I said came over to me oh, oh, oh. Let's, rewind. let's go back a little okay more so that you can show us you know a couple of things we didn't mention I'd like to reflect back on is one Bill Harris was up above in the press box in their side and he came at halftime he came down through and he, and he bumped this guy this guy said wait a minute he said stop he says you don't touch anybody you don't hit anybody you don't fall if you do you'll be dead before you get to the bottom I said Bill I wouldn't have come out you know <laughs> They got to stay. <laughs> well, at halftime, you know, there were the problem the week before was they encircled the field. So at halftime, we got back on the field, and the biggest police I ever saw in my life came flying around that track on motorcycles. And, I mean, they cleared that sideline. They didn't let it anything happen. Then right at the end of the game, they were afraid, the police were afraid there was going to be a fight between the teams. And they came to me, and there was still, you know, a minute left in the ball game, and, and they can score. And it's 14 to 12. And he turned me around away from the game. I said, just a minute. He said, no, no, no. I, said, I need to talk to you right now. He said, your kids don't go to the middle of that field after the ball game. Well, when the ball game ended, shoot, they all went to the field. And it was great. The guys, kids shook hands, got along, talked to each other. You know, no problems at all. So, you know, it can work. It can happen. Yeah, I, I, that's a good point. I just remember walking out. I mean, being a kid with my, my mom and dad and, you know, People are pouring out of the same gate, and they were very complimentary of, of, of the way you had coached the game and the way the kids had played the game. And, uh, you know, it's fun to watch these guys. We've had you back for a couple reunions. And these guys, when these guys talk about these games, it's like they're still, you know, not that far removed from playing them. I mean, their yeah. memories are just engraved, you know. Yeah, you know, they, they uh, uh, after that ball game, you know, it's just, it just, it was hard to, for a few days to even think about playing for a state championship game, you know, it was, it was so exciting and so thrilling, you know, so it, it was something of Metamore community, you know, you could have robbed every bank in Metamore if there was more than one, you know, because nobody was back there. You know? yeah. <laughs> so you, you come back to Metamore on Saturday night, Sunday morning had to be a, a huge, like almost like a big celebration before the state championship game. Well, Saturday night and Sunday morning, ball won. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, we came back, we went downtown to the square, thousand people down there then we went over one of the coaches houses and pretty soon it's morning yeah, you know cause sure. and, and then you have to click it off turn it off turn the switch off and turn the switch on for geneva and get ready for them but you know that we've been doing it all year and, and fortunately saturday to saturday gives you an extra day to yeah. prepare you know so it it uh it all worked and we got back down to earth and you know fortunately we played well on saturday yeah so that'll do it for wednesday the quarterfinal game, or actually that was the semifinal, semifinal game, game yeah. against East St. Yeah. Louis Lake in 14 to 12, and probably the 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 biggest game in Metamore football history. Well, up until then it was. Yeah. You know, and then I think it just it showed people, you know, they, as, as Pat said, they had a lot of good teams, a lot of good teams. Coach Stromberger had a lot of good teams. Coach Roper had a good ball club. And says, but this showed people that, you know, we're, we're, we're equal to everybody. You know, we can play anybody. It doesn't make any difference who. Yeah. You know, on any given s Saturday, we'll, we'll take anybody and play anybody. And Pat's proved that with his ball clubs. But this was the game that kind of set the tone that, that Metamore was, was, like you say, able to play against anyone and kind of set the tone for even today. I think so. I, I do. I, I think any playoff game we've had, you know, it all goes back to being being compared. And, and rightly so. It was just such a landmark win for the school and the community. Uh, and that's what tradition's all about, is being able to, I mean, you know, that, that doesn't take any way, any, any of the championships, they're all the same, really. They all meld together, all about the kids that we've had come through. And, and those days where you can really highlight performances are a lot of fun. But, you know, there'll be a lot of performances that have been great that Coach had and, and we've had in our last 20 years that we'll never maybe see on the highlight video. Uh, but certainly landmark. But this one, this one has its place in history. <laughs> and I've been fortunate that there's been a playoff, 
you know, before that time, who knows how many games Metamore might have won in playoffs, you know, because they had some great teams, you know, but we just hit lucky. We hit at the time when the playoffs started, you know, yeah. and, and we got a chance. And, and all you can ask for is a chance. Well, and it was, you know, yeah, the, the timing was right, Coach, but uh, with yourself and Coach Vogel saying, Coach Wiltz and the staff you had and the right kind of kids and, it, you, you know, it, it all worked. Yeah. <laughs> and it you made worked. it work, too. Uh, it sure has been fun going back to 1975, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For me, it definitely yeah. has. <laughs> a lot of good memories. You could watch it again tomorrow. So yeah. could I. <laughs> and there will be a lot of people that will this will be the first time they've seen this game because some of your players, and we've touched on this before, some of your players that you're coaching right now, their parents weren't even alive when this game yeah, was played. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be fun for them to watch. And, and that's the neat thing about the the re, you know the going back and, and looking at these games, these his, historical games, and uh, they're fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'll wrap it up. We'll see you next week on Redbird Football Classics.